Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another Snoopy game, and Snoopy is playing Jungle Maokai. Obviously he's jungling, because he's always jungling. And going Maokai this time, and Maokai who is uh, kind of uh, yeah, new meta game champion. He uh, has been around for quite a while, and hasn't been played that much until recently when people started playing him as a jungler. I think it came because of the uh, the new jungle. In the old jungle he wasn't really that good. Uh, with the new jungle he is uh, yeah, he's really quick at clearing the first camp. Giving him a little bit of an advantage over other champions. And um, yeah, basically uh, making it so that he can jungle really quickly to his um, uh, his higher levels and once he has uh, Twisted Advance and his Q, which I forgot what the name is but it doesn't matter um, he can pull off some really great ganks anyhow uh, we are starting off at rates as usual uh, he's going to throw in three of these uh, saplings and then the rates will die instantly um, after that he will go to blue, and he is duo queuing here with Froggen, who is the mid. I'm not sure what he's playing. It seems to be TF. Yeah, it is TF. So, um, Twisted Fate, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's going mid, and there you go, all of the raids exploding. Uh, he's going, uh... Uh, raids first because they give more experience than the wolves and well you can blow up either one of them and he will be here in time before the golem runs back and there you go getting an easy blue buff here with the help of his teammates so uh, yeah going jungler plus mid is kind of the best thing to do if you're trying to uh, well, basically get some nice duo play off. Um, yeah, he is running some music, that's why I cannot uh, let the sounds turn on, because they're not discussing that much in chat at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, it is kind of annoying, because I will get into trouble with YouTube if I put music under my videos that is actually licensed. So I can put classical music under it as well as several really bad bands that um, don't care about the music rights. Yeah, and if I say bad then people will always say, no, they're really good. No, you, you know the ones. I mean, if you look up um, a few of the montage videos of lesser known commentators or well actually not commentators but people who put on lol videos uh, that aren't really well known they will put up this kind of music because they have no intention of putting a commentary under it and just want to have some music and you can only do the royalty free music and those are generally yeah kind of horrible music choices but anyhow so going once again for raids uh, you see it's a really interesting pattern going raids into blue into wolves into raids into uh, double golems red and then raids again uh, so that's the third time he killed the raids and that is quite interesting to me so by now he can gank pretty efficiently, uh, only he needs to have a lane where he can actually gank. Bottom lane is kind of a problem, because, well, bottom lane has Tristana. And Tristana can just jump away when he comes in, and even though the, um, the snare will still land, if she's not in range of, uh, of his teammates, then there's nothing they will do. Anyway, uh, Tristana getting out of this gank, or this uh, attempted kill from uh, his team. Oh, I don't know why he didn't flash grab her. But they are going for this guy now, which is fine as well. I guess it's it's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter whether they got Tristana or the other guy. But they could have gotten both. 
I think she deceived. I mean, she did nothing, and she saw him coming. She uh, basically stopped halfway through. No, and there we go. Has disconnected and now reconnected. So. Yeah, it's do you have to be really quick in your reactions to avoid killing that, but yeah. She was still connected in the fight because she ran back and she used several skills indeed. So yeah, she must have disconnected for like a few seconds before they actually came in. And um yeah, she was doing what she was she was supposed to do. Um, who took out the rest of his raids here? Uh, must be the enemy jungler, obviously, but... I don't think he left that there himself. And I'm not even sure who the enemy jungler is. Since there is no way to check that. Obviously this is a stream, for those of you wondering. Because the text up top is not mine, it's Snoopy's. And well, we see some uh, some damage going off on the LeBlanc, but not a whole lot. Um, yeah, going back into his jungle, uh, top lane seems to be missing, and his jungle <laughs> seems to be missing as well. I'm not sure. W what enemy jungle uh, jungler he's facing, but it seems it is someone who likes to uh, invade. Um, yeah, finally getting the kills on uh, on the raids there. Uh, I haven't seen anything from the enemy jungler yet. So yeah, except for the fact that he was in the jungle and still some things but and yeah we're going top lane now but Riven is in the top bush I'm pretty sure he cannot get her or kill her but yeah they're going to try anyway oh twisted fate coming in but yeah it's not going to work two uh, ultimates used there which is yeah, kind of the way it goes against Riven. You have to fully commit or you're not going to get the kill anyway. And Riven is really, really good at escaping things. With her shield and, well, most impressively her Q. Because her Q lets her do crazy things in escaping everything. Oh, come on, Siver, get her! <laughs> no, not actually managing to do so. And, um, yeah, Maokai was kind of watching that fight. Uh, oh, top lane loses. Well, the top lane gets killed, I should say. Oh, there is the enemy jungler, it seems. Oh, no, 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 that's not the enemy jungler. That is, uh, means that there's probably a ward here somewhere because they saw th the uh, the Twisted Fate running there. Hmm, that was interesting. Oh, there there we go, Shivana in the enemy jungle. Shivana, one of the, yeah, worst champions from the last uh, batches. Well, from the last batch of champions, I should say. She's not really anything. She doesn't have any CC. She um, is a really terrible ganker. She doesn't have a lot of uh, damage. Basically, all she can do is kill uh, minions. But then, after killing the minions, there's nothing you can do with the gold because she is just no good. Um, she's still played every now and then because people are still trying to find out what's could make her work, but as long as there are no items that actually give you a stun or something like that, or a grab, or a snare even, um, or a decent uh, slow, not the one from, uh, uh, what's it called, 
Uh, the frozen mallet is kind of okay, I guess. But the one from uh, the, the Rylas Crystal Scepter really is only good if you have, well, your whole team there. But until then, uh, until they, they actually have, uh, well, something with a stun, uh, some item with a stun, I don't think there's going to be uh, a good jungler that has no CC or no, well, yeah, no CC. Or crap. Um, Chivana, yeah, as I said, no CC at all. Uh, the only thing she can do is push people a little bit with her ultimate. And her ultimate is kind of like a normal skill because she can have it up quite quickly. And yeah. The problem is just that. Yeah, she pushes people away from where she used to be, uh, towards where she's going, basically. And, yeah, normally you want people to go in the opposite direction, because now you have to go past them first, then reverse, or and then ult them, basically. But the only way to do that would be to flash, or to come in from behind the turret, and that is generally not a good idea. Or generally very hard to pull off, I should say. And I wonder why there is still no ward in uh, in their jungle. Well, there is no ward up top either. The only ward that is there is in the enemy jungle, where we see Shivana now. But yeah, then again, we do have a ward at Dragon, and that's for now the most important one. Oh, missing a lot of minions there. Yeah, missing something like four or five minions out of the, those six. <laughs> Which is generally not what you want to have happen to you when you take over a lane. So now he's going to trade the lane back, well, or the lane for the jungle again. Um, Gangplank taking out the double golems, it seemed. And here's Shivana. Shivana planting down a ward and. Um, yeah, he gets snared, but Shivana is no longer there, it seems. And, yeah. <laughs> He's going to survive that. But there are no wolves. So, apparently we are going... Or, well, this guy is in some trouble mid. Um, yeah, we are going to see some uh, some really aggressive action on the enemies. From the enemies. And Shivana is going for her twin brother. Killing the dragon. While being a dragon. Well, no longer, but... Oh, too late. Too late. Yeah, he could have come in to... Uh, to smite steal that. Oh, getting snared. And getting killed. There we go. Leblanc still very, very dangerous, uh, especially when she gets the snare off. Uh, without the snare, yeah, not too much of a problem. With the snare, big problem. And the snare is really hard to land because, as usual, it is a skill shot. And most snares are skill shots. Um, most snares and stuns, by the way. Uh, the only exceptions that I can think of right now would be uh, Rice, uh, Rice's snare, but that's not really long, Maokai's snare, but that's not really long, and Tarek's stun, and that is decently long, especially at higher levels, but most of the, uh, snare, the good snares, the ones that actually change games, are uh, uh, skill shots. And obviously there will be more than that, than those because I don't know all of the champions skills. Well, I do know most of the champion skills, but I don't know all of them just by heart. I know the new champion uh, Sijuana of Sijana. I don't know how to pronounce it yet, but I'll look it up. Um, she's not in this game anyway. At least I haven't seen her yet. 
Um, but she has her ultimate stun that is also not a skill shot, or seem to be not a skill shot. But, yeah, well, I don't know. There will probably be more of them. Slows, on the other hand, mostly are targeted, or AoE. And yeah, I thought there was someone there as well, but so getting the red buff on uh, on Maokai here, and um, yeah, the Maokai can use the, uh, the the red buff quite handily because it it is a decent stun, a uh, decent slow, sorry, and um, yeah, even though it's not a good enough slow to make you uh, a good jungler as Tristana. No, that's not Tristana. Come on, Shivana. Um, it is still a pretty decent slow if you have some other capabilities. And Maokai definitely has some other capabilities. So let's see the, uh, the kill count. Yeah, I can see that early enough. Uh, LeBlanc has two kills, uh, Shivana has one kill, and the overall score is 1-5. <sighs> is quite far behind for now. Unfortunately we don't have a gold count in the game yet. It would be great if they added that at some point. So you can actually see as a team how you're doing. Because uh, especially for uh, commenting a game like this, where yeah, people, yeah, for example, all of his uh, his big minions are getting stolen all the time, um, as well as well, there are several other things that are happening in this game that make it hard to judge. Yeah, how many of the, uh, or, yeah, well, how much gold both teams have. But every time his uh, his big raid gets stolen, for example, that's like 50 gold. And the big uh, golem is also 50 gold. Which means that, uh, oh, as well as uh, multiple kills on uh, on champions. So if you kill someone multiple times, the gold will decrease that you get for them. And, yeah, therefore... The one kill isn't worth the same as the next. LeBlanc using her ultimate to get out of that. And yeah, obviously that's just 25 gold. But yeah, 25 gold is better than nothing, I guess. So they were going for that anyway. And they're going to get the middle turret here without any trouble. And are they going for dragon? Is dragon up? I cannot see. It seems to not be up, but it might be up really quickly. Really soon, I should say. Um, yeah, there's the enemy team. Getting stunned and slowed and every kind of nice thing. Oh, Shivana is going to survive. Wow. She ran in like a madman, but then actually survives. And the same is not true for Twisted Fate. And LeBlanc also dies. So I guess a one-for-one -one trade is good, but LeBlanc already did her damage. And oh! <sighs> that was unfortunate. Enemy team getting an extra kill there and getting a turret out of that. I don't know why Sivir didn't engage any further. She might have been able to pick off the um, uh, the Shivana, but I guess she was too afraid of well the well the extra damage coming towards her. And this was the safe approach. Don't get me wrong. I would have done this, but I'm pretty sure. She could have done a little bit more, especially with uh, Suraka next to her. She would have uh, the heal and she could give extra mana. 
But yeah, that doesn't matter now. And Twisted Fate is going to take this blue. There we go. Dragon is still up, at least unless the uh, the enemy team did it. And I think they are assuming that the enemy team now took out Dragon and they couldn't... Yeah, they couldn't really get it. So yeah, they did put a uh, Dragon Timer in the uh, in the chat. So they are assuming that the dragon is dead. Because after killing that turret obviously they could have gone for dragon and there's nothing the team could have done to prevent that. And top turret is still alive for now but it is going to die really quickly. Two guys waiting for him in the bush, that was kind of unfortunate. Kind of very unfortunate. But yeah, they, well, that was purely their good play. Um, it was obvious that after his uh, defense of the turrets, he would go in to the jungle once more. He wouldn't stay in the lane. So there was about a 90% chance he would come there. He could also have gone through the tri-bush to uh, mid lane or something but yeah the chances of that happening were just really slim and the much much bigger chance would have been to that he came through that bush or walked past the bush to his double golems and yeah the enemy team got a kill out of that got top turrets which they would have gotten anyway but still um, an assisted kill means that yeah they get another four or five hundred gold and all in all that was well worth the uh, couple of seconds they had to wait there and once again the gangplank dying it seems that gangplank has died quite a lot of times and unfortunately I can see from that flash how many times but it could very well be like four or five times. And that is a lot considering the enemy has eleven kills. Uh ten kills. Oh almost hit getting the kill there, but yeah, missing the wild cards and yeah, he got killed for it, but yeah well. That's just what happens. At least as a jungler he gets to farm pretty well and um, I didn't use his smite, that was <laughs> quite strange. So it's now 4 to 11. And yeah the game isn't completely over, they can still come back if they get uh, Dragon plus Baron. And win the team fight. But it's not going to be easy. By the way, Shurelia's now on him. I uh, cannot see what the second item is. Yeah, uh, Gangplank did die five times. He's two and five. Uh, the second item seems to be, or seemed to be, uh, Mana Potion. And then he has, of course, the uh, Boots Level 2. The Mercury Strats. Because there is a snare and a slow and god knows what else on the enemy team. So it is a good item. And then of course the Age of the Legion. Which makes his whole team tankier in every team fight he is in. As long as he stays alive and stays near to them. Um, yeah, two guys getting caught there. But they do manage to get out. And they can regroup. So the enemy team also regrouping, well not actually regrouping, they were in a group already. And yeah, Soraka has uh, an Oracle's Elixir and she doesn't want to lose that anytime soon. So 
So Riven coming in to engage this, but nothing happening. Wow, there was a lot of damage coming out from that one stun. But I guess, yeah, AP Twisted Fate is kind of a spike damage dealer. And he does do a lot of damage, uh, well, instantly with his uh, Q and W. Oh, that is such a shame. Soraka got caught in the jungle. They saw her, and because she has an oracle, she is kind of the high price target. He does smite the blue, so fortunately the enemy does not get that, but it would have been much, much better if Twisted Fate manages uh, managed to get it. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Uh, yeah, LeBlanc was still waiting in that in their bush there, but she just got spotted, and everyone is just in panic mode at the moment. They are scattering all the time. They see some enemies, and <laughs> yeah, that in and of itself is quite funny to see. So it seems that the enemy is going for Baron, but oh, <laughs> getting caught. Yeah. Already used his uh, scouting uh, thingy. His um, sapling to scout the bush before the the one where they were. And he wanted to save this one for Baron, I'm assuming. And yeah. That's what you get for not bringing clairvoyance to the fight. Um, yeah, the dragon, uh, the Baron is quite low, but I don't think they can actually steal it because they have nothing to steal it with. The jungler was dead, and yeah, Twisted Fate or Gangplank just drop dropping in to die. I have no idea what he was uh, what he was going to do. So yeah, apparently the lack of CC is what's uh, causing them to lose this game. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, they only have a slow... Uh, well, they have the Twisted Fate stun, I guess. Um, and then they have the snare from Maokai, but that's about it. There's a slow from Gangplank, but Gangplank keeps dying all the time. And... Both Soraka and Sivir have nothing in the form of uh, CC. So, basically they lack a little bit of uh, CC. They definitely cannot chain CC anyone, because they only have one stun and one snare. And, um, yeah, the snare is usually the one that engages the fight, and since Twisted Fate has to select this card which normally takes about a second you cannot really uh, expect him to land the stun right at that moment and the enemy team doesn't really need that because they have uh, they have Leblanc who does all the damage they need to do and basically can just focus one opponent kill them and run back out. So the enemy team, yeah, I guess Riven has a stun, but it's kind of hard to land. Then we have a snare on LeBlanc, which is kind of very hard to land. Um, yeah, the slow on, on uh, Janna, of course. As well as Janna's ultimate. Those come in uh, really handy, and therefore the uh, the jungler doesn't really need to have that much. Yeah, getting caught here once again, but by now this game is so over that it doesn't actually matter anymore. They might as well just surrender, because this isn't going anywhere. So 
So the enemy taking down one Nexus turret, probably the next one, and um, they are going to take out the Nexus as well before anyone can do something about it. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed. I will uh, try to do an, ex uh, an additional game um, because this one was kind of disappointing. We didn't, we didn't get to see a whole lot of plays with 17 and 4 as the end score. It was determined pretty quickly. And um, yeah, well, I'll do another one. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Gigi.